I'm going to be late. Oh, so now you're anxious. I've always had a hard time waking you up. You always sleep through your alarms. You're like this because I've spoiled you. I should send you to a military boarding school to change your bad habits. Sir, if it's okay, can you drive a little faster? Okay. Hey, watch out! <sighs> What's wrong with that driver? I've led many tours. Oh, yeah? I know this route well. Look there and over there. Oh. Look all around us. Oh. Isn't the scenery nice? This tour will be worth your while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to take pictures. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Let's walk two more kilometers, then we can rest. Okay. Make sure to keep up. All right. Come on, hurry. Uh... Shanti! Oh. Oh. Here. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. No worries. Shanti! <laughs> I'll go help her. Okay. Hey, let me take that. Oh, thank you. Uh, I thought I'd be late. Let's catch up to them. Sir, hmm? you can get going now. Okay. Have We're a good going. time. Come on. Thanks again. Bye no bye. problem. Bye bye. See you hey. later. Quickly. Hey, wait a minute. me because I want to you should wait for help no need hmm. what's that you don't know it's an app to call a cab oh I have no use for that kind of app you have no use for it even now I don't I have you you want to hitch a ride can I not unless you beg me first me beg you want to give you a ride with that attitude. 
You should be more sincere. How do I do that? Get on your knees. We are the brave. We are... All right, do it later. Hello, sir? Huh? But you already accepted the booking. How come you're canceling now? <laughs> uh, all right. It's fine. Goodbye. Chen Chen, I've sent you my location. Come pick me up. Well, that was embarrassing. No need to kneel. weather up here is so unpredictable. It's nice. I like it. You call this nice? It's pouring. The road's slippery, more prone to accidents. Ugh. You just don't see the bright side. I want to see the bright side. But didn't I tell you, since the day I met you, nothing has gone right for me. Caught a cold? No. What are you doing? I'm keeping you warm. of the Trendy Designer Awards. Don't take it too seriously. You weren't selected, but then that's not surprising. What do you mean? Well, the criteria were quite strict, and that means the quality of this show is very high. So you're saying that I don't meet your criteria? No, I'm saying you're not good enough yet. It's not like I can't improve. But you're not going to improve overnight, am I right? Why are you discouraging me? That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to make you face reality here. I want you to know what you're capable of. Don't waste your energy in areas that are not truly meant for you. <sighs> hmm. Okay, now I get it. You mean I shouldn't pursue a career in design, right? The purpose of this show is to provide a platform for those designers who are truly capable, so more people can see their work. Of course, the standards are high. Do you think you can meet them? Yes, I think I can. I'll improve and I'll even surpass them. I never asked you to make any concessions for me. Those professionals you just mentioned didn't get to where they are overnight either. You can judge me, but please don't decide for me. Goodbye. Hey, it's raining. <coughs> oh my, you caught a cold? You asked for it. Here. You're so ungrateful. I was caught in the rain because of you. I asked for it. You want to blame me for that? Look. No one can take care of you except for me. I suggest you treat me nice. You take care of me? I'm not expecting anything. Go ahead and leave. At least get me a glass of water. Song Luo! <coughs> what? Are you trying to piss me off? Huh? Those are antacids! Oh! <coughs> 
Oh. I bought the wrong one. I can never count on you. Just leave. So I bought the wrong medicine. Why treat me like this? I wanted to go to the pharmacy, but now I'll let you die. <laughs> You're gonna let me die, Song Luo? You're so ungrateful. <clears throat> Hey, Joe Fung. Are you home? I am. Can you see me? Yeah. My brother has a fever. It doesn't look good. Do you want to check in on him? It's too much for me. It's that serious? Okay, I'll be right there. Okay. <coughs> Here. It's the right one. Great. You finally got it right. Get me a glass of water. You want me to swallow them? Hey, you came here to help, right? Get him some water. You're his sister, you do it. Shh. You like each other, don't you? I like him. Stop talking nonsense. All right, Come all on. right, all right. Just forget about the water. I can swallow them. I don't need your help. Ew, brother. I'm not being harsh, but everyone really hates you. Oh. I should just leave you to oh. die. I don't care. So bitter. I'll make you some ginger soup. Do you know where the ginger is? Ugh. Why don't you go back to bed and rest? They're pretty good with a knife. Have you ever thought about working as a nanny? Well, if you need one, I can do it from time to time, but I'm sure you can't afford me. <laughs> of course I can afford your fees. How's five bucks for the membership fee and five cents each time you come for 12 times? <laughs> Take it easy. Let me tell you a secret. What secret? I was here. You followed me? I didn't. So it's a coincidence? Hmm. It's not that. Fang told me you're here. <laughs> Ching Ching, you already have Coco at home. So why do you still come to this cafe? None of your business. See. Why haven't you answered my calls? And why do I have to answer your calls? Why don't you like me anymore? Go on. When did I say I liked you? I'm 
busy. I gotta go. Uh. Your coffee. <laughs> uh, thank you, sir. Is it okay if I ask you something? Go ahead. Is there any way to treat my allergies? To cats, that is. Well, it's hard to say. I mean, you never know when your allergies will go away. <laughs> you all right? I'm okay, I'm okay. I heard some people say that one can build up immunity if one hangs around cats. Is that true, sir? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Although I've also heard of similar stories. I'll sign up for that membership then. Huh? Hey, Fang, you're here. Good to see you. Hey, where's Chin Ching? You know she really hasn't been in a good mood lately. You should go in and see her. <laughs> okay, I'll go inside. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wait, did you have a fight? Leave it alone, Fa. What's up, Fang? Hey, Four Eyes. What happened between you two? We're fine. We're fine. Don't worry. I'll do my best to win her over. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Fang. I'll go see you in a few days. Okay. I'll see you then. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hey. So, you're here. I think I'm in very good shape today. Let's continue. <laughs> it seems you really like this girl, but you shouldn't push yourself too hard. I think I can do it. Okay. Choose your cat. Mm-hmm. Let's get another cat. How about that one? Hey, Tart. Is it good? Eat some meat. Good girl. I'll take two more pictures first. Look, sir. I'm okay. doing much better than before. <laughs> They've gotten used to you. <gasps> <sighs> Don't force it anymore today. It takes time to build up immunity. You can't rush things. <laughs> D don't worry, sir. I'm sure I can do it. If I don't hurry and build up my immunity now, I might miss my chance. Chin Ching? Mm hmm? How do you like this new design? Well, the color's lovely. I like it. Mm hmm. It's pistachio. Mm. It can flatter your skin tone. Mm. Hello? This is she, yes? I'll be right there. What is it? Did something happen? He's in the hospital. What? Hang on. Get the keys. All right. Okay. Let's go. Three oh three. Where's three oh three? Room three oh three. It's here. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Really. Is there something 
something wrong with you? Why were you at the cafe? Are you crazy, Four Eyes? It's not like you don't know you're allergic to cats. <coughs> the doctor exaggerated a little. I'm fine. I just wanted to develop some immunity to cats. I thought I could surprise you once my allergies disappear. Do you have any common sense at all? Developing immunity? Who told you that? Hey, don't be angry. I really thought my allergies can be cured if I spend more time with cats. You like Coco so much. Since I want to be your boyfriend, I want to change. That's why I- Say no more. <clears throat> I need to step outside. <sighs> Do you really want to be my boyfriend? I do. You're good with never getting married? Yeah, that's fine. Dating for three months? Three months? Why only for three months? I'll get tired of you. Maybe. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with it. What do you mean, okay? Is that a yes? You're my girlfriend now? What do you think? Treated again. <sighs> Mr. Song, what brings you here? So you skipped work to spend time with her? No. My allergy acted up. An allergy to love? Are you saying that when it comes to love, you're somehow immune? I don't think I am. It depends, I guess. Hey, are you immune to love? Tell me. I'm heading back. To go look for love? Oh wait, I didn't drive. Give me a ride. Just go after her. Hey Tuo, take care of yourself. Sure. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, What's wrong, Four Eyes? Huh? It feels like... like I can't breathe. You can't breathe? Hey, nurse! Uh, nurse! Mouth to mouth resuscitation. <clears throat> Ouch! <clears throat> Well, drive. Why are you in the back seat? I'm not your chauffeur. You don't like it? Just drive. Sit up front, or else I'm not driving. Why are you so picky?
was that for? Are you a child? Buckle up, will you? Just drive. What's up? Something urgent. The people in charge of the show met with important guests. How important? Bai Sai Su Yu Shan. <laughs> Why the smile? He's finally started to bare his teeth. He seems eager to get in my way every chance he gets. Tell you what, Su Yu Shan is simply afraid that with this show, your business will expand. At least he acknowledges me. They've made their intentions clear. They're ready to accept any condition, but in exchange, they want the exclusive naming rights for the show. How can we give them that? Bai Sai is our direct competitor, you know? Of course I do. That's why I rushed to see you. I thought we could come up with some countermeasures. In Bai Sai's eyes, you're the target. Okay, I know. What do you know? We need to come up with something. Well, I can't think of anything right now. Hmm. <laughs> Luna. Hey, why are you here? I just finished the shoot, so I came to see you. Oh, thank you. What's with a long face? You look like you need to ask me for help. Hmm. You know what? Maybe she can help. Well, we'll see. I've got stuff to do. Hey! Wait! Aren't you worried at all? I gotta go. Later. What did you tell him in the end? I told him to leave me alone and to stop with the shenanigans. Nothing good ever comes out of that guy's mouth. But you know, I think he really cares about you. I mean, look, he made it so you'd live opposite his unit, and he paid close attention to your job application. Four Eyes told me there were several applicants, so why would he specifically check your resume? He obviously has a thing for you. What's going on between you? Nothing's going on between us. I actually like these snacks more than I like him. Best case scenario, he and I can be neighbors and maybe friends. Are you still bothered by that Luna girl? Come on, can you trust the media? If they see a man and a woman eating together or something, they'll say they're in a relationship. Hey, are you even listening to me? Stop eating. It's really good. <sighs> Anyway, every time I see him, I just want to pick a fight. We argue every time we see each other. If he and I actually get together, neither of us will get any peace in our lives. You argue, yet you meet each other every day. But let me remind you, given the kind of guy Song Lin is, like how he attracts women, he has to be playing around. You can't expect him to be loyal. Still, I think it's fine to have him as a boyfriend, but not as a husband. Don't worry, he and I won't get together. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. Have you met her before? Who? Stop pretending. That designer, Zhou Fang, have you met her? I have. Is there something between those two? How would I know? Look. They were involved in a lawsuit. Don't worry, they're just friends. Regular friends. You sure? Mm-hmm. I asked you to watch over Song Ling. How come this woman got so close to him? I'm not his dad. He's not my son. I have no control over him. What do you want? What do I want? Will you help? I'll consider it. Luna, don't overthink it. Just eat, drink, and have fun. Trust me, give Song Lin two more years. He'll realize that you're the one for him. When he does, and he sees that you're still waiting for him, I'm sure he'll marry you immediately. Believe me. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Uh, what if he marries someone else in the end? Don't worry about that. If that happens, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs>
Stop joking around. You have no sense of humor at all. <laughs> How about it? Let's drink. Uh, so you're done entertaining your lady? Huh? Hey, what? When do you... plan on telling her that? Tell her what? That I've had a crush on her for 10 years? Yeah. Yo, check this out. Look at the food I brought you. Yeah, I could guess what it is. You want to talk about the show? I can't wait to eat all this. Look, about the show, Luna will surely help. Popular stars like her with good acting skills are very difficult to get. They're expensive and always booked. As you know, Luna has given us her word. She promised that she'll back us up, as long as it's for your sake. Luna can give us plenty of leverage. And so, I think, it's time for us to get Luna on board as our trump card. Hey, Songlin, I'm talking to you. Just think about it. I will. Luna said that you can just tell her if you need any help, and she'll be there for you. Under what conditions? You're asking me? What are you looking at? Hot chicks? No. Zhou Fang lives there. You're kidding. Seriously? <sighs> Luna was right after all. Are you in a relationship with Zhou Fang, huh? In a relationship? Well, not really. It's one-sided. Oh, knock it off, Song Ling. You think I don't know you? You're a certified flirt. Don't try to change your image with cheap excuses. Huh? You won't chase her? I see no reason to. This kind of feeling comes and goes. It's temporary. Besides, I don't have to get together with the person I like. I'm not like you. This feeling is unreliable. You know what? No wonder you're still single at your age. Serves you right. Where's your girlfriend? Who, me? I always get dumped because I talk too much. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Hello? Have you talked to him? Did Zhou Fang move there? Yes, she did. She lives there now. I just left Song Ling's place. Okay, I got it. <sighs> so why did you want to see me? I think you should have a pretty good idea. I'm not following. You're renting Song Ling's apartment, right? Yes. Do you know that I'm his girlfriend? I know you meet with my boyfriend quite frequently in private, and even moved into his house. What do you expect me to think? Song Ling told me you're just business partners. He told you that? He did. Don't tell me you believed him. Do you know whether it's true or not? You don't know him well. Well, whether it's true or not doesn't matter because there's nothing between us. You have nothing to worry about. But you're affecting our relationship. Aren't you aware of that? Well, I really didn't consider that. Now that you've brought it up, maybe I was being thoughtless. I ignored your relationship with him. If I've caused you any trouble, then I apologize. But please know I never had ulterior motives. I never meant to meddle in your relationship. If you really don't want to meddle with us, I hope you can prove it by moving out in a few days. I'll make sure to compensate you for your loss. No need. <laughs> you don't have to act tough, because I already know your financial situation. Don't make things harder for yourself. Knowing my financial situation doesn't mean you know me. I won't accept money I didn't earn myself. Goodbye.
Coming. Hey, why are you here? <laughs> My brother didn't make food for me. He told me to eat with you. Oh, you're eating. I came just in time. What are you having? Hot pot. What kind of hot pot? You don't know? Don't be picky. At least we have something to eat. If you're looking for nutrition and taste, then this is the best choice to make. Actually, if you look inside our fridge, there's nothing there. <laughs> okay, eat up. It's ready. It looks good. Let's see. Can you eat spicy food? Wow! I like this flavor. It's tasty. Isn't it? I should just come eat here if there's no food at home. Is that okay with you? <gasps> we'll see. So stingy. Hey! You're having a hot pot? Yep. Come here, sit down. Let's eat together. <laughs> smells so good. What are you doing here? I'm picking Luo Luo up. What's wrong? You should go home. Huh? You should go home. <laughs> what do you mean? This is my home. I'll head back then. I'll head back. <sighs> All right. Hey, don't mind them. Eat up. I'm going now. Hey, Lolo, come back after you're done eating. Okay. Also, if you don't finish everything, bring some soup back. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. to meddle in your relationship. If you really don't want to meddle with us, I hope you can prove it by moving out in a few days. Hello. Miss Jo, didn't you just move in there? I know, but something happened, so now I want to move out. I paid a whole year's rent up front, but I've only lived here less than a month, so I was wondering if I can sublet the place and maybe it can reduce my losses. Miss Fong, the contract clearly stipulates that the property can't be sublet. If you want to, you can get the landlord's consent. How about this? Let me talk with the landlord first. Uh, no, that's fine. I just won't sublet it then. But you won't get your rent back. Don't worry, it's fine. I won't sublet it for now. I'll think of something else. Yeah, okay. Bye. What does it look like? I'm cleaning up. Are you moving out? Who said I was? Why are you moving out? I don't like it here. Why not? No reason. You talk to Luna? Well? No. You 
already have a girlfriend. I suggest you stay away from other women. It's the right thing to do. She said she's my girlfriend? Would you believe me if I said she wasn't? Look, Jofeng. Luo Luo is very happy that you and T moved here. If you really do move out, what do I say to her? Besides, I'm very busy. I can't take care of her. How about you live here for a little while longer? Lolo needs you. Are you using emotional blackmail on me? Is it that obvious? If you have nothing else to say, leave. Are you still moving out? I'll think about it. Think carefully. Lolo needs you. Lolo needs you. Lolo needs you. I hope you can keep that in mind.